This will be the last FOMC meeting before the U.S. presidential elections in November. We expect Jerome Powell to strike a very supportive, accommodative tone. We also believe he will call uh, on Congress to come together for additional fiscal stimulus. But beyond that, we don't expect uh, the FOMC to make too many waves here. We may get a little bit of clarity on the average inflation framework. And we also may see an upward revision to some of the GDP forecasts, as well as unemployment forecasts, as noted earlier, particularly for 2020. Uh, keep in mind, since their June projections, a lot of the economic data has stabilized. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what their outlook is, certainly. Uh, but beyond that, expect just uh, more supportive, accommodative, lower for longer type language. Right, fair enough. But how much do you think the market is latching on to that skinny stimulus package coming in from Congress, from the government, the fiscal package? You, how much of a shot in the arm would that be for the market? Yeah, you know, I think to some extent the market had priced in some form of stimulus coming out of Congress. You know, keep in mind, President Trump has also done some executive orders uh, to help bridge that gap. Uh, but not the same as actual fiscal stimulus. At this point, though, as we head closer and closer to September 30th, uh, that fiscal cliff, um, the likelihood of both parties coming together is actually decreasing. And I think the markets mm. uh, actually have shrugged that off to some extent. We're continuing to see, you know, we have seen some volatility over the last couple of weeks, uh, but we've seen some stabilization in the last few days. You know, keep in mind, as we get closer to presidential elections, once again, uh, neither party will want to give the other a necessary win uh, ahead of that election period. So I think the focus will squarely become on debate season now coming up and then elections on November 3rd.